You gotta love it. And of course, I'll talk about the bookcase behind me in the next weekend of Lockety Vlog. Let's get to today's video topic. All right. Nice classic style, sit down in front of the camera, talk about technology type of video, right? Of course, I love this kind of stuff. Alex Brandflakes, what do you want? Mario Kart 8 will make my road trip bearable, and Zelda too. I still have a lot to do. Alex, enjoy your trip and enjoy your Switch. But this video is not about the Switch whatsoever. Today's video is all about the iMac, and it's powered by davidbronca.com slash forum. Check it out right below, submit your question, and perhaps I'll choose your question for a future video. So today's question comes from Mr. Sean, as opposed to Mrs. Sean. Mr. Sean says, hello. Hello, Mr. Sean. I am looking at getting an iMac soon, and I do know we are expecting new soon, October, but will it be that big of a change? With student discount coming soon and possibly getting free headphones with purchase, should I buy or wait? I don't care about an iMac Pro. Just using it for casual use. Great question. Let's do this. The first thing you always want to do, besides setting up your recording room properly and turning on the light. Come on, David. The first thing you always want to do is this. Go to Mac Rumors Buyer's Guide. This is a great buying guide whenever you want to think about buying something new from Apple, whether it's an iPad, uh, MacBook Pro, iMac in this case, or even an iPod Shuffle. You know what? Do not hold your breath. We are not going to get a new iPod Shuffle anytime soon. And if we do, I will gladly say I was wrong. But yeah, the iPod days are kind of behind us. What do you guys think? Will we ever see a new iPod? Let me know in the comments below. I am genuinely curious. All right, so anyway, once you arrive at the Mac Rumors Buyer's Guide, tap on Max, scroll down a bit until you get to iMac, and it says right there, don't buy, update soon. It has been 560 days since the last iMac refresh. 560 days. Apple, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Give us new iMacs already. Because I'm telling you, customers like myself will buy the brand new iMac on day one. Now, Apple has come out recently and said that yes, we are indeed working on new Macs, including a new Mac Pro. Say what? As well as an iMac Pro? Hmm. That definitely has me very curious because that could be a brand new product line for the iMac in general. A first ever for the iMac. And honestly, that's not that far-fetched because a lot of professionals use the iMac thanks to its beautiful 5K display, killer desktop uh, specs, as well as a bunch of I.O. I mean, the iMac is kind of like the Mac you can use for pretty much anything, whether you're editing video, composing music, designing graphics, designing websites, shooting and editing photography, blogging, writing, whatever. The iMac is like the go-to Mac because of that just beautiful 5K display. And actually the price isn't that bad. But as tempting as the iMac is, is it worth buying one now, even if it is for casual use? I gotta say, no, I mean, 560 days is a long time for any kind of tech refresh. So if you can, wait it out. And yeah, you mentioned the iMac Pro is not important to you. That's fine, that's fine. You don't have to buy the iMac Pro, but I guarantee you Apple will be refreshing the regular iMac very soon. We just gotta be a little more patient. And yes, I said we. I say we for a reason because that desk right back there will eventually be the future home of my own iMac, my first new iMac ever. Now, I have an iMac G3, iMac G4, I love them both, but I've never purchased myself a brand new iMac for my own work. And well, I'm excited about that. Will I get the iMac or iMac Pro? I don't know, it's hard to say. But either way, I am very, very excited. So Sean, to answer your question, just wait it out, dude. 
wait it out if you can. I know, trust me, waiting sucks, especially considering you're going to be using it uh, with a student discount. Hopefully by the time uh, the iMac is refreshed, you can still use a student discount. Oh, and by the way, you say October. I don't see it taking that long. I mean, I I'm thinking more maybe a May or June release. I mean, let's hope. Again, this is the future home of my iMac, whenever that happens. But yes, the iMac is the reason why I bought this desk. So Apple, we're just waiting on you. Okay, so with all that said, I have to ask you guys now, what do you think? When is the iMac going to be updated? Is it going to be worth the update? What do you think Apple's even gonna do? Because there's only so much they can do at this point, but I'm hoping for Apple Pencil support, kind of like the Microsoft Surface. Imagine pulling it down. Maybe that's what they're going for with the iMac Pro. I mean, I don't mind if Apple copies Microsoft with that idea. I mean, that would be so nice to just pull the iMac Pro down and start writing or drawing or whatever using my Apple Pencil. That would be damn cool. So what do you guys think? Let me know right below. And actually it would make sense. iPad Pro is the only iPad compatible with the Apple Pencil. So iMac Pro, from a branding standpoint, would be perfect. Thank you guys so much. Keep those questions coming. davidrocka.com slash forum. That's linked right below, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.